Dear colleagues, this is a closed angle neovascular glaucoma uh, done in uh, subcongenital anesthesia and uh, I have a pupillary membrane here which I'm trying to remove using two grease hubber forceps uh, but uh, it's a very very thin membrane and very easy to break into small pieces and not coming into one piece uh, as usually goes in these cases so um, I only end up with uh, small bleeding uh, but breaking those um, neo vessels at the pupillary margins but the, the pupil is not dilating uh, so much it's a very floppy iris in this case as you will see in a moment and uh, having a small pupil it's um, even more challenging case uh, adding to the challenges in this case having a um, capsular axis uh, having a pupil so small the capsular axis have to be done underneath the the iris underneath the, the pupil so uh, you need a really good uh, forceps to maneuver that uh, anterior capsule and uh, these grease hubber forceps have the uh, jar that it's uh, in a big jar that's in contact with the anterior capsule and a um, couple of uh, more attempts you can do a very nice round capsular axis uh, underneath the pupil also having um, such a small anterior chamber I will try to avoid hydrodissection and hydrodelineation to not inflate the bag even more and um, you can potentially have a break into the posterior capsule doing this or you can even get the, all the nucleus out of the bag and stuck to the endothelium which is not very nice to see especially in glaucoma patients when you need to make sure the inflammation is um, at the minimum so I do a trench here and using the Mishev chopper it's so easy to divide the nucleus into two sections having that uh, spatula tip it's uh, making a lot of contact with the nucleus and the uh, lateral separation it's getting very easy here it's a vertical chop done with the Mishev chopper and uh, right here lateral chop and horizontal chop so using this chopper uh, in uh, so many cases you can it's so versatile that you can use it in either kind of a uh, chop or divide and conquer or stop and chop or any kind of technique you are used to do is a very good and versatile chopper and I'll try to keep in this case the phacomusification inside the bag since um, having the anterior chamber so shallow any ultrasound uh, should be as far as possible as far as you can go from the cornea so that's just inside the bag so um, doing uh, lateral separation and um, and horizontal chop and feeding the the pieces to the faculty it's so easy with this uh, Mishev chopper and having that uh, spatula it's so um, nice to have uh, uh, protection of the posterior capsule in the last uh, part of the phacomusification and uh, when you do the cortical aspiration or if if you do if you have any uh, epinucleus left or uh, underneath the iris it's very easy to 
have the spatula of this uh, faculty of the chopper protecting your uh, posterior capsule. Um, it's very important in these uh, glaucoma patients to have a clean bag at the end of the surgery, so it's very important to check the uh, underneath the flappy iris to see if you don't have any uh, cortex or uh, epinucleus uh, hidden in between the iris stroma and the bag or the anterior capsule or inside the bag because any cortex left out there can cause uh, an inflammation and in this uh, glaucoma, closed angle glaucoma patients uh, can be very damaging to the endothelium. I'm using the, the chopper here to protect the posterior capsule when I do some um, cortical aspiration and then uh, using a um, maintainer in uh, main incision and uh, uh, aspiration needle I'm uh, making sure the, the bag is free of any cortical remnants. At the end of the cortical aspiration, I place some, uh, some viscoelastic inside the anterior chamber and you will see that uh, on top of every problem that you can get in these cases, I got uh, one more and uh, injecting the IOL, the plunger got stuck and um, the silicon tip couldn't advance anymore. So I had to pull out the chopper from the eye and then uh, hold the, in, the injector with uh, left hand, pull back the plunger and push it back in. And in this way, the silicon tip from the plunger got released so I can I was able to insert the whole IOL inside the, the eye as you can see here and using uh, this is uh, a, a problem that sometimes can occur, occur but uh, it's not the end of the world anyway any challenge can uh, be solved if you find the right solution. Using the the Mishev chopper here with the spatulated uh, tip is so easy to shovel the back and forth the IOL optic and uh, slowly rotating it uh, uh, with lateral movements uh, you can uh, inject it back place it back into the the bag from the anterior chamber so it's not um, a big deal. At the end of the third, the faculty emulsification and injecting the IOL I clean up the, um, the anterior chamber from any viscoelastic remnants. I use uh, the, the tip of the, the needle to push back the the iris stroma and uh, in this way you break uh, any anterior synechia in this case having uh, no vascularization in the angle uh, was a little bit of bleeding inside the anterior chamber but I placed some myocle to constrict the pupil and uh, avast in at the end of the surgery and uh, that's the end of the case thank you for your attention I hope this will help you in your practice also